Opioid Antagonist, Wikipedia Article Audio An opioid antagonist, or opioid receptor antagonist, is a receptor antagonist that acts on one or more of the opioid receptors. List of opioid antagonists Centrally active Marketed Discontinued or rarely used under development Never marketed Peripherally restricted Marketed to Under development currently or previously Miscellaneous Selective antagonists Depersonalization disorder In popular culture Naloxone and naltrexone are commonly used opioid antagonist drugs which are competitive antagonists that bind to the opioid receptors with higher affinity than agonists but do not activate the receptors. This effectively blocks the receptor, preventing the body from responding to opioids and endorphins. Some opioid antagonists are not pure antagonists but do produce some weak opioid partial agonist effects, and can produce analgesic effects when administered in high doses to opioid naive individuals. Examples of such compounds include nalorphine and levalorfan. However, the analgesic effects from these specific drugs are limited and tend to be accompanied by dysphoria most likely due to additional agonist action at the kappa opioid receptor. As they induce opioid withdrawal effects in people who are taking, or have recently used, opioid full agonists, these drugs are generally considered to be antagonists for practical purposes. The weak partial agonist effect can be useful for some purposes, and has previously been used for purposes such as long-term maintenance of former opioid addicts using nalorphine, however it can also have disadvantages such as worsening respiratory depression in patients who have overdosed on non-opioid sedatives such as alcohol or barbiturates. On the other hand, naloxone has no partial agonist effects, and is in fact a partial inverse agonist at muopioid receptors, and so is the preferred antidote drug for treating opioid overdose. Naltrexone is also a partial inverse agonist, and this property is exploited in treatment of opioid addiction, as a sustained course of low-dose naltrexone can reverse the altered homeostasis which results from long-term abuse of opioid agonist drugs. This is the only treatment available which can reverse the long-term after-effects of opioid addiction known as post-acute withdrawal syndrome, which otherwise tends to produce symptoms such as depression and anxiety that may lead to eventual relapse. A course of low-dose naltrexone is thus often used as the final step in the treatment of opioid addiction after the patient has been weaned off the substitute agonists such as methadone or buprenorphine in order to restore homeostasis and minimize the risk of post-acute withdrawal syndrome once the maintenance agonist has been withdrawn. The following are all muopioid receptor antagonists or inverse agonists. Many of them also bind to the kappa opioid receptor and slash or delta opioid receptor, where they variously behave as antagonists and slash or agonists. These drugs are used mainly as antidotes to reverse opioid overdose and in the treatment of alcohol dependence and opioid dependence. Diprenorphine is used in veterinary medicine only. These drugs are used mainly in the treatment of opioid-induced constipation. Buprenorphine and desocene are partial agonists of the more but antagonists of the core. Contrarily, Eptazocene is an antagonist of the more but an agonist of the core, the same is also true for nalorphine and levalorfan. A variety of partial agonists or mixed agonists antagonists of the more and core are also marketed, 
and include butorphanol, levorphanol, nalbuphine, pentazacine, and phenazacine. All of the aforementioned drugs may be described as opioid modulators instead of as pure antagonists. With the sole exception of nalorphine, all of the preceding are used as analgesics. However, these opioid analgesics have atypical properties in comparison to the prototypical pure morphal agonist opioid analgesics, such as less or no risk of respiratory depression for more partial agonists and antagonists, reduced or no euphoria, abuse potential, and dependence liability with more partial agonists slash antagonists and use and dose limiting side effects such as dysphoria and hallucinations with core agonists. In addition, by virtue of its core antagonism, buprenorphine or buprenorphine slash naltrexone to block its more agonism is under investigation for the treatment of depression and cocaine dependence as are other core antagonists such as CERC-501 and, previously, JDTIC and PF-4455242. All of the centrally active opioid antagonists used widely in medicine are non-selective, either blocking multiple opioid receptors, or blocking the more but activating the core. However, for scientific research, Selective antagonists are needed which can block one of the opioid receptors but without affecting the others. This has led to the development of antagonists which are highly selective to one of the four receptors. Other selective antagonists are also known, but the four listed above were the first selective antagonists discovered for each respective opioid receptor, and are still the most widely used. In addition to selective antagonists, at 076 is a non-selective, balanced antagonist of all four of the opioid receptors, and was the first such agent to be discovered. Naloxone and naltrexone have both been studied in the treatment of depersonalization disorder. In a 2001 study with naloxone, Three of 14 patients lost their depersonalization symptoms entirely, and seven showed marked improvement. The findings of a 2005 naltrexone study were slightly less promising, with an average of a 30% reduction of symptoms, as measured by three validated dissociation scales. The more dramatic result of naloxone versus naltrexone is suspected to be due to different opioid receptor affinity slash selectivity with naloxone, which appears to be better suited to individuals suffering from depersonalization disorder. Cyprodyme is a selective more antagonist, naltrindole is a selective door antagonist, norbenaltorphimine is a selective core antagonist. J113,397 is a selective nociceptin receptor antagonist.